What up, though? Heist Man Defoe, talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Man, every once in a while, I want to counsel somebody. And when I do, I put them on the talk that talk council of fame. And it's not because they did some kind of egregious act or something so worse into the public eye, you know, nothing real bad. I, I just do it because they, they might have did something I never liked on a TV show or something. Or my wife might have thought they was handsome or something. And people like Skylar White, you know, a.k.a. Anna Gunn, I never get over her for she said the Walter White. Mm, I can't stand her. But, you know, the Council of Fame, I got to add somebody else to it, man. Somebody so bad, I got to add him twice. This woman right here. Her name is Alyssa, and she from Married at First Sight. I think they're in Boston this year. And um, she got married to this dude right here. His name is Chris. For some reason, she ain't like him. They just didn't get along, and everybody entitled to their opinion. Like, she like what she like. She don't like what she don't like. And it just didn't go well, you know. It, it ain't going well for them right now. But I say she need to look in the mirror. Like, she really need to look at herself. Because she got some things about her that's just that's nasty. If she look in the mirror, one of the first things she'll see is that she the Riddler. She never can answer a question right. She always got some little side way to twist it, you know. Just, I don't know, man. I call her the Riddler every time I see her, though. She don't never answer questions. She always answer a question with a question. Try to do some weird stuff, man. Also, she look in the mirror, she see that she's a Karen. I call her a Karen because what she be trying to do to production when, um... You know, she not in front of that dude, in front of Chris. When she talking to production, she making it seem like he out to, out to get her. Like, I'm glad the camera's there. If the camera's wasn't there to, you know, to see what she doing, you, you, you know, we probably would believe her. Because she's very convincing. But she's a Karen, man. Like, she's making it seem like, like, he, like the way he was pointing at something. He was looking in the sky, pointing at something. She over there, he's pointing all aggressively. Let's look at him. He's just so aggressive. She's a Karen. Also, if she look in the mirror, she see that she's a clown. She might see a clown in that mirror. Because she think that she's going to let him move in the house for two weeks after they come back from um their honeymoon. Well, I ain't going to call it honeymoon. I'm going to call it a lemon moon. But she supposed to, you know, she want him to move in for two weeks. Then she move in for two weeks. And so she can hang with the girls and. You know, live the experience. That's the word she kept using. Experience. Um, the experience is that she supposed to be getting married and living her life. But I just think she wanted to be on camera. I think she want the fame and all the glitz and glamour of it. Like watching this woman on TV really makes me mad. It was like I can't believe somebody is that hateful, man. Just mm. especially when she says she um I could have left earlier. I could have left last week. Or something like that. I think she just, you know, the Boston Cove right now. If she left, she couldn't stay on the beach and relaxed and stuff. It's just, that's just me, in my opinion. Um, y'all tell me what y'all think about this. I know y'all seen the show Married at First Sight. And yes, I do watch it with my wife. Don't judge me. But I, I watch it. And that's what I'm seeing right now. And this woman really got me upset just because her attitude. I just, mm. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this because conversation need to be had. Put it in the comment section. Y'all let me know if she evil as I'm, as I'm saying and thinking she is. Or I'm just making up something. I don't know. Y'all let me know. But I'm definitely going to be talking about this Friday right here on this channel because I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Y'all just got to come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation, and holler at your boy, Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Peace.